It's now been a whole year since I've seen my family. After the accident, I was in hospital for a very long time. However, there was none nearby, so I had to be placed in one in the next town. Unfortunately, I can't remember the accident either, and I only know that I drove off the road in a car. And because of this accident, I developed a behavioural disorder. More precisely, a post-traumatic stress disorder, which made me imagine things and caused me to behave uncontrollably. So I was transferred from the hospital directly to the nearest clinic for mentally disturbed people. No visitors were allowed there. Not even my own family. It took me almost the whole year to deal with the behavioural disorder, and even now it isn't normal so I'll probably have to live with it until further notice. They didn't want to talk to me about the exact causes and said that such disorders can often occur in such accidents. Anyway, the day after tomorrow is my little sister Sam's birthday. She'll be 16, so I thought that on the day of my release I would meet Sam directly and we would go to our parents' house to celebrate her birthday. She called me right after my release and said that she'd found a park nearby where we can meet. It's already quite late, so I have to hurry. Oh, a new message. From Sam, perhaps? Sam? That's not Sam. Is that a candle? What is it? Ah, what is this picture in my head?
Is that blood? A trail of blood? But what? Ah! Wait! The hospital. After the accident. Ah! My head. This looks like the birthday card for Sam. I remember visiting the stores a year ago to buy this exact card. That's not my phone. Where's that ringing coming from? Who is this? Where is Sam? Don't worry. Sam is with me. Sam? Who the hell are you and where have you taken her? I won't tell you until you do something for me. At the entrance of the park, there is a power box that you must manipulate for me. You must not run, nor hang up. You have exactly three minutes. Starting now. A power box at the entrance. Okay. Okay. I'll hurry up. Owen, oh, by the way, if you can't make it in that time, then neither will your sister. Wait, you mustn't hurt her. I'll find that damn power box. So, have you done it yet? I'm almost there. Hold on. Where is that damn power box? Sorry. I wasn't listening just now. I had to sharpen my knives. You bastard. What did you say again? I'm warning you, if you hurt Sam, I'll kill you. Maybe I should just start cutting off a little bit of her already. What do you say? And I may... No, wait. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Leave her alone, you fucking psychopath. Say goodbye to your no. sister. No. Wait. Give me a little more time. Sam. Uh, God. Uh. Sam. I have to find Sam. Sam? Wait. But... How can that be? 
Sam, where are you? Are you okay? Wow, wait. I know we haven't seen each other for a long time. But no need to shout like that, Alex. <laughs> but I was just... Hey, you just got released today. Please don't overexert yourself. Where are you anyway? I'm kind of lost in this park. I'm near the pond. Oh, I was just there too. You just have to... Sam! Sam! Fucking hell. Emergency. Hello? I'm looking for my sister Sam in the Winevale Park, but I can't find her. If you cannot speak, please give us a sign so that we can take action. Your location is being tracked. Please stay tuned. Can you hear me? My name is Alexander Green, and I'm calling because of my sister- I am deeply sorry. Unfortunately, your location cannot be determined. We wish you the best and take good care of yourself. Is the phone broken? What's happening? Are you looking for me, Alex? I'm here, Alex. Alex. Turn around, Alex. What's that? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh.
I remember for years I was trampled on. I was bullied, beaten, kicked, laughed at and excluded from everything. All my life I was an outsider. But my family, especially Sam, were the only ones who believed in me. I was so, so sick of being put down by everyone that I decided to change my image. It's funny how someone like me always had a dream of owning a Mustang. A car that screams self-confidence. But when I turned 25, that dream came true. And I was so desperate to prove to Sam that she had a cool brother that she could be proud of. I was absolutely sure I could do it. But then... My head. Where am I? Excuse me, have you seen a girl with brown hair? About 1.6 meters tall? Sorry, can you hear me? I'm looking for my sister, Sam. She wanted to meet me here in the park, but I can't find her. Hey, is everything okay? I think I'd better leave you alone. Have a nice evening. What happened? I have to close my eyes and do what I was taught in the clinic. Take a deep breath and exhale deeply again.
Footprints. Where do they lead? What is that? Someone's left the door open. Is this where the electricity is controlled? Looks like a switch is missing. Someone was definitely here to sabotage the power box. I should follow the footprints. Stop it. Let me the fuck out. I need to get out of here.
Is she? You're so pathetic, Alex. You're running away from reality. What? What do you mean? Who are you? The accident should have killed you, Alex. Look at you. There's no spark of joy left in those eyes. You're a hopeless case. A failure. How do you know, Mike? What the hell is going on here? Who the hell are you? Gotta get out of here. <laughs>
this. It was already open. I need to call Sam. Hello? Sam, listen to me. There's something running around in the park. I don't know what it is, but it's got a knife in its hand and it's following me. I was trying to hide in the powerhouse, but the door's locked. Oh, okay. I just saw something that looked like a key. I'm near the statue of Jasmine Singer right now. Really? Okay. I'm coming. Hide somewhere and don't move. to the powerhouse should be somewhere around here. Found it. Hello? Sam, I found the key and managed to hide in the powerhouse. If you can make it here too, we'd be safe for now, but please, 
Please be careful. The powerhouse? The one next to the entrance, right? I'm on my way. Please open the door for me as soon as I get there. Sam, please hurry up. Alex, it's me. Please open the door. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> When I was in the hospital, it quickly became clear that something had happened to me. I started seeing things I wasn't supposed to see and behaving strangely. Once my wounds had healed, I was sent straight to the mental health clinic. I was supposed to learn to live with my new self there, but something... something kept stopping me. I have only bad memories from my time in that clinic, but the same nightmare made me feel worse day after day. I felt like a criminal. <sighs> oh. uh, what time is it? I should get up. Ah, mm. uh, okay. Of course, it's Sam's birthday today. That's perfect. I, I can pick her up from school later on. I should call her to congratulate her. Seems to be busy. I'll try again later. First of all, I need a coffee. Sam? Good morning, Alex. You called. What's up? Well, what do you think's up? <laughs> wait, wait. I'll sing it for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sam. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Alex. I really didn't think that you would sing for me like that. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? 
I can congratulate you again next year via messenger. How about that then? Hmm? <laughs> Come on, that was really sweet. Thank you very much. Say, did I by chance leave my backpack in your house recently? I can't find it and school is starting soon. Oh, when we saw that new movie, Misery Mansion. I can have a look. Hang on. It must be here somewhere. Got him. Do you want to come pick it up before you go to school? Great. Yes, I'll be there in about 20 minutes. Sounds good. Oh, I also have a little surprise for you later. After school, we can walk to Mum and Dad's. Or rather, drive. Wait a minute. You didn't. No way. Well, you'll see in a minute, birthday girl. I think she'll be excited. I should go through my mail. I still can't believe this dream is finally coming true. This headache is getting worse lately. I should still have some headache pills in the cabinet in the bathroom. I think I should lie down for a moment. What happened? I have to call Sam fast. No, my battery's dead. Was that Sam? Fuck, it sounded like it was coming from the south entrance. The scream is coming from the sewers.
Sam? I need to follow her voice. It's so bloody dark in here. Oh. If I don't hurry, I may never see Sam again. Why is all this happening? I'm probably just dreaming, right? Coming, Sam. Wait. Hello? Who's there? Ah. I can't go limp here. Sam needs me. Thank you. 
Fucking hell. Sam. If I'd have been in the park earlier, this whole thing wouldn't have happened. My head, what's wrong with me? I don't think I should be here. It smells so bad here. Is that music? Where's it coming from? What the hell is this? Be right there, Sam.
is this? You. Yourself. Excuse me? Why did you do that? What do you mean? Who and where are you? Are you aware of what you've done? Who the fuck are you? Show yourself. What the hell was that? I hope Sam is okay. I really have to hurry. Damn, that was... Wait. Stop following me or show yourself already. Don't you remember? What should I remember? The accident. No, I don't remember the accident. You are irresponsible. Do you know something about the accident? Hello? Answer me.
I wonder if you can rotate these pipes. Of course. I guess I need to connect them all together to turn the valve. did you do that? Stop it already. I don't know who you are or where you are, but stop fucking following me. Do you really think I'm following you? What else? Don't you think you're following me? Excuse me? You know me much better than anyone else does. Then why don't you show yourself? Because I do not exist. How can I understand that? Hey, where are you? So four more valves are missing. For some reason, this whole thing feels so weird. <sighs> what is happening here? It's all in your head, Alex. You're driving yourself crazy, right? <laughs> it's all just imagination. I made it. Now the water should be gone. Sam, I'm coming. 
Run, Alex. You again. What should I run from? From the illusion. What do you mean? Nothing you experience here is real. Stop talking nonsense. I have to save Sam. Sam is not real either. Get the hell out of here. I am innocent. It wasn't my fault. I... I did something bad. I know that, but it wasn't my fucking fault. I'm innocent, and that's why the judge acquitted me. I... I hate this life. I, I hate myself. I don't even know why I'm still alive. The accident should have just killed me. That would have allowed me to just escape all of this, but... But something is stopping me. I can't just take my own life. What would happen to Sam? I want to be someone Sam can be proud of. Ah, uh, where... what happened? Is that the Metro? How did I get here? I can't remember. You, you son of a, you motherfucker. You're going to tell me where Sam is right now or I'm going to hurt you real bad, you fucking bastard. They are dead. Dead? What are you talking about? Who's dead? My family is dead. My wife. My What the hell are you talking about? They are all dead. Are you being serious? They are all dead. So, you have nothing to do with Sam? They are all dead. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. I was looking for. They're all dead. Fucking hell! What am I doing here? I need to get out of here fast and find Sam. The revolving door is locked. I should still have a ticket on my phone from before, but my battery's dead. I need to find a way to charge my phone. Maybe I can find something in the staff room. There's a power socket here, but I'm missing a charging cable. Didn't the vending machine have one? Damn, I don't have any money on me. Maybe I can find some coins here somewhere. It's always so sad to see people. Coins. That should be enough coins. Now I can buy the charging cable from the vending machine. That can't fucking be. Give me the damn charging cable I need to find Sam fast. Now I can charge my phone in the staff room. Hey, what are you doing? Let me out of here right now. He locked me in. I need to find something to unlock the door again.
There, a key. Maybe it'll get me out of here. Ah, this damn headache. I feel so sick. Everything is spinning. Shit, I think I'm gonna throw up. The door didn't move earlier. Leave me the fuck alone. What do you want from me? This is just my imagination, nothing but my imagination. I need to grab my phone and get out of here. Sam, please pick up, please. That can't be. Sam is still alive, I know that. I failed as a big brother, Sam. Your brother is a loser. I couldn't protect you. You are such a hopeless case, Alex. I should have stayed in the clinic. Wait a minute. Isn't that one of Sam's shoes? You idiots lose that little girl. That's just a stupid little kid. We are going to split up. First one to find the girl gets to keep her after I'm done with her. Go now. Move and fucking search. We'll find you, little one. Get ready. That must be Sam. 
who the hell is that and what do they want from her? I need to call the police quickly. No, not now. Fucking hell. I can use the phone booth in the park, but they mustn't see me. Then I can call the police. What the hell are our men doing here and what has Sam got to do with it? No. Wait. Alex, do you remember how we used to feed the ducks at the pond back then? Yes, I do. One duck even came so close to you afterwards that it pecked you in the hand. <laughs> yes, that hurt. I lured them away after that. Be happy. Of course I'm happy. Not everyone has such a great brother. Really? Is that how you think of me? Are you stupid? Of course I think so. How many times have you protected me? From mom and dad, from supposed friends, from stupid boys, and now from ducks. Oh, Sam. Thank you so much. Sometimes I just feel like I don't do enough for you, you know? Don't be like that. You're a great brother. You always have been, Alex. I do my best. I promise. And that's exactly why you need to open your eyes, Alex. Do it. Do it for me. Please. But it's so exhausting, Sam. Life is so damn exhausting. I know. I really do. But you have to live. Life is a gift. A blessing and a curse. A double-edged sword that you must learn to handle. But I... <sighs> okay. I'll open my eyes. I'm only doing this for you, Sam.
911, what's your emergency? Hello? This is Alex Green. I'm at the Winevale Park. There are several armed men here looking for my little sister Sam. Please, come quickly. Another nightmare. Ah, damn it. I have to take my pills. I should go back to sleep. It's late. I'd already switched that off. Again? This is really strange. What's going on here? This can't be true. The Ouija board is moving. just happened. What the? Hello? Who's there? Who could that be at this hour? No one here. Did I imagine that? Wow, I really didn't think it could be so fun. You see, I've always told you that video games are awesome and you never believe me. <laughs> Maybe you should have tried to convince me more. You used to play even more. That's true, but I ended up with a really cool job and fulfilled my dream. Hey, Sam, is that you? Hello? Is anyone there? Who's there? This is Alexander Green from Flat 2B. I just heard my little sister Sam behind the door. Is she there? Sam, what are you doing? What? Is this a joke? I'm Alexander Green and I live in 2B. How do you know about my sister? Are you kidding me? Open the door, Sam. Get out of there now. Who is this lunatic you've been hanging out with? Alex? Who is that? And why does he know my name? I don't know who that is. Just ignore him. I think he sounds just like you. I have goosebumps. It's me, Sam. Your brother Alex. Don't you recognize me? Listen, buddy, I don't know who you are or how you know us, but please do us a favour and just go away. Otherwise, I'll be forced to call the police. 
Shut your fucking mouth. I don't know what you're doing with Sam, but if you don't open the fucking door, I'm gonna break it down. Alex, this guy scares me. Okay, that's enough. Sam, please go to my room and lock the door. I'm calling the police now. I can't lose any time. I have to get this door open somehow. Sam, your brother will save you. Wait for me. I'm gonna open this fucking door now. Sam, where are you? It's me, Alex. The flat looks exactly like mine. How can that be? Where the hell did they go? The computer was left on. Wait a minute. These are my emails. Who is this? <laughs> Someone you know very well. What? Spit it out. Who are you and how did you get my number? You're sitting at the computer right now, aren't you? What the? How do you know that? Haven't I already said that I know you very well? Are you here? In my flat? I'm calling the police. You don't have to. I've already done that. Excuse me? I have a little surprise for you. I'm hanging up. Can you do me a small favor before you do that? What the hell do you want from me? Can you turn towards the bathroom? Why? Someone is waiting for you there. What? What happened? Where am I? Shit. I can't move my arms. I've been tied to the chair. Isn't that the powerhouse in the park? Ah, bloody hell, my head. I need to untie myself here somehow. The chair is made of wood. I should be able to break the armrests when I swing from side to side and forward the chair to the floor. It worked. I'm free of the ties. Locked. If I take the fuse out of the power box, the electricity will surely go off again. I have to use this chance to get someone to come here. Then I can escape. Now we wait. They mustn't see me when they come in. I should hide next to the door. Come on. 
Somebody. Alex, are you in there? I found the key on the way here. I'll get you out. Sam? Oh, thank God. Please hurry. Let's get out of here quickly. This way, Alex. Where are you? I can't see you. Over here. Wait for me. Seems like it's just me and Sam left in the park. Those guys have gone. If you don't hurry up, I'm going home without you. Sam, where are you? Candles? What are they doing here? Sam? You still don't get it. Please, just tell me where Sam is. Aren't you tired of looking for her? I would go to the ends of the earth to find Sam. You are so pathetic. There's a much quicker way to find Sam. What do you mean? What way? Do you see that pond in front of you? I do. Why? Close your eyes and jump in. What the fuck? Why should I? Because you can only see Sam again when you leave this earth. Stop saying that. Sam was just here. Don't you think a painful truth is more important than a beautiful lie? That's what I used to say. Face the reality, Alex. Wake up already. But... Sam wasn't only your sister. She was also my sister. Then she really is... Life on this earth has no meaning. How much suffering have we already had to experience? How much pain have we had to feel? How many blows of fate do we still have to suffer? Why can't we just have a wonderful life? I... I don't know. Gather up your courage and end this suffering already. Sam, I'm only doing this for you. Sam, please forgive me. I can't be the brother you wanted. I don't have the strength anymore. I just can't do it, no matter how hard I try. Every time I take a step forward, it feels like I'm taking two steps back at the same time. It's a vicious cycle that I can't escape. The next time I see you, I'll have to confess this to you. Your brother is a loser, Sam. A lost lunatic that you can't be proud of. I'm so sorry, Sam. <sighs> I'm alive. I'm so sorry, Sam. I guess I wasn't the brother you deserved. If only I looked out for you more. You are such a pathetic idiot, Alex. You couldn't even protect your own little sister. I need to get out of here. I should leave the park and go to Mum and Dad's house. My memories are so foggy. Is that a person lying there? Sam? Hey, can you hear Don't me? Don't move. This is Juan Val Police. There's a person lying on the floor here. I, I need help, quickly. What? How can that be? Is this the man? Yes, this is the crazy guy who has been chasing me the whole damn time and won't leave me alone. What's going on here? 
Hello, my name is Elon O'Reilly. I'm the Chief of Police for Winevale. My colleague and I just have a, a few questions for you regarding your visit to Winevale Park. Could you first tell me why you've arrested me and brought me here? I've done nothing wrong. One thing at a time. What's your name, age and address? Alex. Alexander Green to be exact. I'm 26 years old and I live not far from here. Okay Alex, where exactly have you been in the last few days? I was... I was in a clinic. I only got released today. In a clinic? What kind of clinic? And why? A year ago, I was in a serious car accident. The accident was so bad that I developed a mental disorder after receiving medical treatment. They thought that I should be taken to the clinic for mental illness, here, in Winevale. And is that really true? Why would I lie? Take it easy, Alex. You were at the Wine Whale Park tonight. What were you doing there? I was going to meet my little sister at the park. The day after tomorrow, she turns 16. So we wanted to go to my parents' house and prepare everything and celebrate my release. I've not seen my family for a year. The document here is correct, isn't it? It is. I took his driver's license and checked it against our database. The match with the fingerprint was 100% successful. Okay, Alex. You were saying you were going to meet your sister in the park. Is she your stepsister? No, we have the same parents. Why? What is it? Alex, you, you don't have any siblings. You're an only child. Excuse me? Alexander Green, born on the 20th of February 1994. Your parents, Arthur and Megan Green, have had only one child since then. That would be you, Alex. You have no siblings. You're, you're, you're kidding me. That is not true. You stay here, Alex. We're going to go outside for a moment and contact the clinic that released you. Hey, explain this to me. What do you mean I don't have any siblings, goddammit? This just can't be true. How can you lie to someone like this? You're not seriously stupid enough to believe those two, are you? Of course not. What bullshit. You also saw Sam earlier when she was lying on the ground. Why are you sitting here so idly? Do something, Alex. Uh, damn it. Just let me think. You don't have time to think. Get up and go to the door. Listen to what those guys are saying about you. The policemen just now. They just went to contact the clinic, didn't they? And you're really going to believe them? Go to the door and listen for yourself. This guy's out of his mind. He's seriously looking for a person that doesn't exist, that he thinks is his sister. <sighs> what a lunatic. There are so many crazy idiots these days. Maybe we should just lock him away so he can search for his little sister in a cold and lonely cell. This can't be true. They're making fun of me. Why don't you do something about it? I don't know what else to do. Let me help you one last time. Turn around and look at the table. What are you going to do? <laughs> Not me, Alex. You. What should I do? End it. Once and for all. You can see what the world thinks about us. Aren't you tired of people just laughing at us? But I can't just shoot them. Well, if not them, then yourself. Trust me, take the gun in your hand. I'll help you. I'm so tired of the way the world looks down on me. All I ever wanted to do was be good and help people. Instead, all of my life I've only been kicked and beaten down. You're absolutely right, Alex. Now hurry up before they come back. I hate the world so much, but... Hurry the fuck up. 
face your fear and pull the trigger. Oh, you're awake. Where am I? You can't remember again. No, I can't. My memory is so foggy. Okay, let me help you. We're going to start a little question and answer session so I can see what else you remember. Who are you? Alex. Hmm, okay. Where are you? In the clinic? I see. What happened? I was going to meet Sam in the park. Interesting. How many siblings do you have? I have a sister. Hmm. What happened a year ago? I had a car accident. Apparently, you still can't remember properly. I am your doctor. You were in the Winevale Clinic, where we recently released you. Ah, uh, damn these headaches. So the headache is still there. Uh, wait here. I'll get you some pills. Hello, Alex. Sam, is that you? <laughs> of course I am, you silly. But how can that be? Where did you come from? I was told I had no siblings. We were supposed to meet in the park. I went looking for you when you didn't show up. Besides, what do you mean you don't have any siblings? Who said that? Uh, I can't remember. My head feels so heavy. Alex, no matter what anyone says to you, you are and will always be my brother, okay? Uh, my head, please help me. Everything will be fine, Alex. Here are your pills. What is wrong with me? Let's find out. We will now dive into your thoughts, just as we did back then. Focus on my voice and let it guide you. Okay. Close your eyes and focus on your own thoughts. Can you hear me, Alex? Yes, I can. Very good. Now open your eyes. What do you see, Alex? I can see the entrance to Winevale Park ahead of me, where I was going to meet Sam. Interesting. Try to enter the park, Alex. Okay, I'm in the park. I'm being called. From Sam. Focus, Alex. It's not Sam calling you. That was me. What? Hello, Alex. I'm calling about an anomaly in your report. It's quite urgent. Where are you right now? What kind of anomalies? I'm in Winevale Park at the moment. I was going to meet my sister Sam here. Your sister? Alex, you don't have any siblings. What are you talking about? Anyway, could you please... Hello? Can you hear me? What the hell is going on? Hello, Alex. 
Who is speaking? What? You can't even remember your own sister's voice? S -S Sam? Where are you? Come to the construction site and meet me there. I have something to show you. Okay. I'll be right there. Sam? Is that you? Uh, what was that? <laughs> uh, stop it! <laughs> stop it! <laughs> Leave me alone! What just happened? Hey, excuse me. You look familiar somehow. Have I seen you before? Is there anyone else here? Where is Sam? No! <laughs> Easy, Alex. You're back. Don't worry. What the hell was that? Well, that was your thoughts and emotions hiding deep inside you. With each dive into your mind, we get closer to clearing your mind so that you can remember again. I heard Sam's voice. And then there were these strange shadows. And the guy on the other side of the bench. Don't worry. It was all your imagination. It is important that you face these things to remind yourself of the truth. I understand. Are you ready for the next dive, Alex? I think so, yeah. As before, focus on my voice. Close your eyes and relax. On three, open your eyes. One, two, three. Where are you right now, Alex? I'm in the underground. I think in the sewers to be exact. What were you doing down there? I heard Sam's voice and I wanted to... Wait a minute. That looks different from how I remember it. Alex, focus. What exactly were you doing down there? I... I wanted to... No. Please, I... I don't want to come back here. Let me out. Alex, calm down. It's just an illusion. No. I want to get out of here. Help! Please, somebody, help me! For God's sake, stop following me. Leave me alone. Sam? Isn't it sweet how people try to escape their miserable fate? Sam, where are you? I need to get out of here. Please help me. Aw, my big brother needs help from his little sister. Isn't that funny? You've never been able to do anything yourself. You're just a pathetic loser. 
What are you... Sam, what are you talking about? What? It's the truth. I can't help it if you are so blind you can't see it. You've always been a miserable failure. No wonder you can't get anything done. You're not Sam. Sam would never say something like that to me. Oh, really? What's Sam like? Well, well, she's... Come on, spit it out. How is she? I, 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 I don't, I don't know, okay? I don't fucking know. I'll tell you something. I'm not that far away from you. If you manage to find me within two minutes, I'll show you the way out. Time's running. Now. Why are you doing this, Sam? Sam, I have to hurry. That can't be. The paths are changing. <coughs> faster, Alex, faster. I've got to find Sam and get out of here. Damn it, I can't do it. Doctor, can you hear me? I just can't make it. I, I want to get the hell out of there. Wake up, I want to wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Alex, are you all right? What happened? I was in the underground. I heard Sam again. What did she say? She, she made fun of me. Within two minutes, I had to find her, but I didn't make it. That was just an illusion. Don't worry. Alex, I need you to listen to me carefully. We will dive into your thoughts a third and last time, but this time we will go so deep that you should remember again. It will probably be worse than the last two dives. Are you ready? Do I have any choice? Good. Then close your eyes and focus on my voice again. Everything will be fine. Okay, Alex, on the count of three, you open your eyes again. One, two, three. Where are you right now? I'm in the interrogation room. What are you doing here? Before I woke up in the hospital, I was arrested in the Winevale Park and questioned by the police. Why were you arrested and what did they ask you? I don't know anymore. I only saw Sam lying on the ground and before I could reach her, I was arrested by the police. I can't remember the questions. That's not true, Alex. What do you know? Not me, Alex. We. What does that mean? What do you mean by we? A painful truth is always better than a beautiful lie. Don't you think?
Alexander Green, born on the 20th of February, 1994, correct? That's right. Who are you? I have some questions about your sister. Let's start straight away, without hesitation. How old is your sister? She, her birthday is the day after tomorrow. We wanted to meet and, and celebrate her birthday. And how old does she become then? I don't know anymore. Quite strange, Alex. Next question. When did you last see your sister? I was supposed to meet her at the Winevale Park earlier. But when did you see her last? I don't know anymore. And are you really Alex Green? Of course I am. Okay then, Alex. Then I have one last very simple question for you. What is your sister's name? Her name is... Well, my sister's name is... Yes. What is your sister's name, Alex? I... I... I don't know. How can you not know your own sister's name, Alex? I just don't know anymore. My thoughts are completely lost. Well, then maybe I should lock you up. What do you think about that? No. I have to see her again. She's out there waiting for me. Then tell me her fucking name. I don't fucking know. Tell me the truth, Alex. I don't have a sister. Alex? Hey, can you hear me? Wake up, Alex. I think I can remember everything again. The recording is running. Please tell us your name, age, and what happened. My name is Samantha, and I am 28 years old. I was... Hey, everything's okay. You've got no need to panic. You're safe here. I was walking in the Wineville Park when I suddenly noticed someone following me. I thought it was just my imagination, but then I saw a man wearing a hoodie. He seemed mentally distracted and often looked down at the ground. But he was always near me. At some point, he shouted something through the park. I couldn't understand it at first, until I suddenly heard my name. I looked back and saw him running towards me. I shouted as loud as I could and told him to leave me alone. My phone had run out of battery, so I quickly ran to the phone booth and called the police. This guy just kept going and locked the entrance to the park so I was trapped. I saw an open manhole cover and climbed in. But even in the underground and in the sewers, he chased me. I... I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. When I took off my shoes in front of the other gate, I thought it would lead him on another track and waited hidden in the park until the police would arrive. But even then... I saw him, looking for me. Please, you've got to lock this lunatic up. My name is Alex. Alexander Green. A year ago, my life changed suddenly. I finally had a great job, loving parents who supported me all the time. My own flat. And I was even able to buy my dream car, which I would wanted ever since I was a little boy. I couldn't believe how good my life had become after being constantly bullied and excluded. I still managed to go my own way and didn't let others drag me down. I hardly had any friends, but I constantly gave everything to achieve my goals. But one day, I had a car accident. A pretty bad one. The doctors weren't sure at first whether I was going to survive at all. I was in a coma for a really long time. During that time, I saw someone. A little girl. Her name was Samantha. She was like a little sister to me. I couldn't talk to anyone but her during that time. She was the one person who cheered me up when I was down. She gave me courage when no one else could. 
when I finally woke up from the coma a few weeks later, Sam wasn't there anymore. I asked everywhere, but everyone just looked at me strangely. I needed to see her again, at any cost. The day I was released from the clinic, I was on my way home, when I walked through the park. And suddenly I saw someone who looked very much like Sam. I slowly walked towards her and called her by the name of Sam. When suddenly she ran away. I, I didn't know what I was doing at that moment. I didn't hear her shout. It was just a coincidence. Sam has never existed. Has she? <laughs>